we only are, and we're answering the question that so many females and some men have nowadays. Why struggle with a man? Why would I be doing bad with a man when I can do bad all by myself or I can do better by myself? You don't have teamwork skills. You don't work well with others. Bitch, you don't know how to communicate. Ho, you don't know how to operate in a household where everything don't just go your way. That is why you do better by yourself. Good, good evening, good evening, good evening, my people. Welcome to Calm Vibes, and let's talk about it. All right, everyone, I'm Jay, and I'm here to bring you a new one. This here is by a lady I used to see on Facebook. I don't know if she had any other things out there named Love, Love Dorsey. Um, she puts out a few um, videos, and um, I say I like some of them. But this one particular I like, uh, she put out, and uh, she basically was talking about um, women black women and this victim mindset that they continue with. So it's hard for a guy to talk to a special black woman about something like this. So it's good to see a woman, a black woman talking to other black women about it. Um, like I said, we will get, it'll be an argument off the bat if we tried to say some of these things and we will get nowhere. And even she got some, um, you know, some backlash from what she's saying on there, but you know, she fixed that shit quick. So uh, what I want to do is let you hear it from another black woman's perspective and uh, let's give your advice on it. I'll chime in here and there, but mostly I'm going to let her talk. So before we kick it off, let's go ahead and show some love. Help support the channel and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and then that notification bell. All right. So I know some of you are watching the videos, but you're not hitting the subscribe button. So let's not do the ninja thing. And let's go ahead and support the brothers and let's keep this thing moving. All right. So that's out the way. Let's move on. So I'm going to let this video run. And uh, guys, just take it in. Ladies, take it in. <laughs> Y'all mamas didn't tell y'all this part. They told y'all the first part. Well, you shouldn't be struggling with a man. She ain't tell you that if you don't acquire the skills to work well with others, bitch, you won't be able to do better with others. This is why a lot of y'all don't understand the concept that you can be in a group or a team and things should be going better. But if y'all don't know how to organize, if you don't know how to manage emotions, if you don't got boundaries, you will use one another up. You will always feel like a victim if you don't have goals in the right mindset. If you can't take personal accountability for your choices, you will be in a space where it will feel like it's worse with a partner than it is by yourself. Y'all be thinking y'all be knowing everything and don't be knowing the fuck thing. Typing up these posts with great attitude and you can tell. Don't argue with me. Argue with your mammy. No, you should actually go argue with your mammy for telling you that half truth. She didn't bring it all the way full circle. The stuff you just type don't make sense. The shit you run around saying to niggas don't make sense. Well, why would I stay with you and struggle when I can just be? It works out well when you're by yourself because you don't know how to work with others. You ever seen children that don't know how to share? They don't know how to play with other children because all they feel like is everything belongs to them. So they don't share their toys. They don't know how to play games to take turns. Don't know how to let somebody go and then they go after or they go first and then move out of the way and let the other person go. So your kid be sitting up crying by themselves with no friends, no social relationships. Nobody wants to be around them. They can be as spoiled as they want. You can buy them all the nice clothes. They can be the best dressed in the class and bitch, they'll be miserable. Nobody wants to play with your little fine ass little son. His little cute self don't got no friends. Because the nigga don't share. The little girl don't know how to be friends with other kids. Don't know how to like be in a space where you're not bullying or always trying to make things go your. That is why you hoes do better by yourself than with a partner. And that part, I had to chime it. That part's so funny to me because uh, I see adults like that. Like some of you women, you're talking, well, I ain't, I don't got but one friend. I got no. You don't have any friends. You don't have no socialization skills. None. 
Some of you ladies have one friend. Now, I ain't saying a best friend. One friend. You have no one to call on for any sister-to-sister -sister talk. If you didn't have your siblings, you wouldn't have no one to talk to. And why is that? And then y'all have kids and put them in the same fucking situation. Now all they do is be up under you. They don't go play with nobody. You don't let them go do nothing, do this. You got them right there up under you. Because that's now your new best friend. Like I told her in a while, stop dating your fucking sons. And she's like, what? Stop dating your sons. You making dates for the weekend for you and your son. He's not your boyfriend. He's your child. But anyway, let her finish this thing up, man. She's killing this shit. <laughs> Crazy. And the other thing is, you don't know how to pick them. You don't know how to pick them. What you mean, so we sharing me? Y'all be slow as they come. You don't know how to pick them. You pick people that they don't have their basics together. So when you mix your life with them, of course you're doing worse with him because he didn't even have enough to be at the table with you. And that's still your fault. Still not his fault. Bitch, if you met me and I ain't got no car, not my own place to live, don't got no stable income, and you come mix your stability with mine and then cry because you're doing worse, that was your bad. What you thought the fuck was going to happen when you take two and put a minus one with it? Bitch, you're going to get less. How did you think you was adding when the person that you with, that you mixed yourself with, got less? That's still a you problem. Just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. Your mama's didn't tell it to you, right? Well, I don't understand why would I, why would she be with him? It seemed like she doing work. Yeah, because she don't have no socialization skills. She don't understand how to be in a relationship and build with a partner. She only know how to do things her way, her house, her way, her rules, her mindset, her perspective. So obviously everything goes, everything goes better when it's just her. Just like the little kids that don't know how to share, don't know how to be nice, don't know how to make friends. Of course they're better off just staying at home with the only child syndrome, sitting there by themselves. Of course it feels better to just be alone because, bitch, you got no skills to mix with everybody else. You don't got no charisma. You don't got no, you know, niceness to you. No multiple perspectives Um, when it comes to life and conflict resolution skills and how to communicate and how to cope with things not going your way and how to compromise. You don't have these things. So, of course, it seems better to just be single all your fucking life. You lack the skills. Any other questions you hold or niggas want to propose that you feel like you just got the ghetto answer to? Go argue with your mammy. No, bitch, you need to argue with your mama because that shit is wrong. It's wrong. This is the exact reason, even when it comes to life, right? It's some people, they do better begging and not having a job. Know why? Because a job actually puts too much discipline on them to get up, wash your ass at a decent time, put on some clothes, go to work, put your cell phone up, work and earn money based on rules and regulations of a job description you signed up for is too hard. So it's easy to just go around not working, begging, hustling a little bit here, using people, telling your sob stories. It's easier for some people not to have goals and not to have a job. They can come across checks and feel more free about themselves not having to conform to rules and regulations because they lack the discipline it takes to actually work somewhere. So for some of y'all, you ain't no entrepreneur because you're just a great person and making a bunch of money. You are an entrepreneur because that's the only thing you can be. The only thing you can be is somebody who get up when they want to, make a little money, don't really set no solid goals, don't really, a lot of y'all, you a half-assed entrepreneur and that's all you can be because you lack the skills to actually be anything more than that. And like I told y'all yesterday, you don't try to get in those Zooms, you don't try to go take no courses outside of what they taught you in high school or the classes or the certificates or the degrees it took to get the job that you got or to do the fucking career path that you in past just the basics.
Besides getting your cosmetology license, whole, you don't have no other skill sets to level up past that. So all you can do is be late in the morning taking your clients, the people sitting there three, four, five hours waiting on you. That's the only way you know how to make your money because you let the skill set to grow it into a real business. But this is the stuff y'all don't want to hear. Part, that part there is so fucking true. That is so true. Barbers, the same way. And my wife always talk about, not the lady she's with now, but in in the past, she's like, you would go there and they're not ready for you. The lady just got there. Uh, she's behind already. It's like, what is going on? She got to leave early. She got to do something else. And then the barbers are even worse because they coming in. You know, you might have one that's in there that, you know, he, he's about his business. And most likely he's the family man. So he's in there at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. The rest of them coming in at 10.30, 9.30, 10 o'clock. Come in, sit down, eat breakfast, walk around, go out back, smoke, come back in. Now they want to cut hair. You done sat there for damn two and a half hours. Have no fucking concern of yours. Like, so what? But they want your money. Because you never learn, like she said, you never learn those certain skills. Time management, being disciplined, discipline yourself, being on time, being punctual. Those things are assets of being fucking successful and you can't get past it. Y'all young people doing that shit now. Y'all don't want nothing where y'all have to get up early in the morning. You want to still smoke weed. You want to do all this shit. But you want to say you're entrepreneurs and you're doing all this because you got your cosmetology license and you're sitting at your own fucking booth. Same thing with your barbers. You got your barber license. You got your own chair. But are you making enough to support your damn self? No, because that job, you just, that time frame, you don't use to get all this shit, you no know, verifications. You made that your part-time job now. Why you go out here and do all this other shit that's not a real job. So you're all confused. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You just want titles so you can say, oh, I got this and I got this and I got this. But you ain't hitting on shit. Like she's saying, you all not working on your fucking skill set. So let's let her keep running it down because she's killing it right now. These are the things your mama did not tell you. Why she gave you them little slick sayings to say, like, niggas just ain't shit, or why would I struggle with a man, bitch, because you don't know how to keep one, because you don't have any good communication skills, and it's a lot of y'all niggas the same way. What the fuck I'm going to have a bitch for when a bitch ain't just, because you don't know how to pick them, bro. You suck at picking the right female. You lead with your money, your pockets, your designer, and that's why you keep getting gold digging thought bitches, and this is why you feel like it's better off just to be a bachelor. But real niggas know that got wives and genuine women in their corner. It actually suits you better to find a wife, one that's going to serve you and keep house and be able to be a helpmate to you as you connect and, you know, go through life and build a family and build on your goals. But you don't know how to pick them. That's your problem. You lack the ability, the social skills, the multiple perspective, the leadership qualities as a man to pull a female like that. That's why it seems easier to just stay single and fuck these hoes. Any other retarded questions y'all mammy told y'all to throw out there that's supposed to be rhetorical, but really it's an answer for them. I can do bad by myself. Yeah, bitch, because you can't get along with others. Y'all ever seen the people that they got dogs, they can take them to the dog park because the dogs don't bite people, bite other dogs, and they can get along well with others. They can operate in a community of other animals and other dogs. Y'all be the, the pit bull. You got to keep that bitch locked up in the backyard, tied to a tree by himself because he'll bite the owner, bitch, bite in the mailman, anybody. Bite the motherfucker coming out to put the water in the bowl. Don't give a fuck. 
Of course, he he life is better by himself. Cause when I mix with other people, they damn near want to put me down as a dog. Cause I'll bite the fuck out of somebody. Don't play well with others. Any other retarded questions y'all want to propose on the internet today? Anybody else got any stupid philosophies your mammy told you based on her not being able to operate in a healthy relationship? Any of y'all dudes want to propose any questions as to why it doesn't make sense to find a partner and grow? I don't give a fuck if you find one or you in polygamy and got multiple. There is strength in numbers if you know how to get along with others. If you understand socializing skills and communication and healthy uh, ways to build with people. If you don't, it's always going to seem better to just be by yourself. Any other stupid shit y'all want to ask? Somebody said, you need to be a little bit more empathetic because honestly, I hope you have all of it together. So listen, I'm glad you said that, right? Rather, I got everything together or not, it doesn't change that what I'm saying is true. I get it may hurt your feelings and you might not like my delivery, but bitch, I don't give a fuck. What you don't understand is a lot of y'all mindset is wrong. The way you process stuff is wrong. You over here worrying about rather I got the things together that I'm talking about, but it don't make what I'm talking about any less true. And if you've been following me for any good period of time, you will know I practice what the fuck I preach. I know it to be true because I apply it. You're worrying about the wrong shit, bitch. Victim mindset. That's what you got. That's what when somebody say something and the shit hit, you worry about why they said it the way they said it. Or do she got a man? Or where her house said? Or I wonder if she applied this. Just know I ain't know what's saying this dumb ass shit y'all be typing. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and knock this off. I don't want to go too long. But tell me, man, did she not break this shit down? And it comes down to that victim mindset. That's all it is. Just like here, instead of looking at what she said, you're more concerned on how she said it. They do Kevin Samuels the same fucking way. They always say, well, you can say it a better way. You can say it like, like why? Did you not get the message from what he's saying? Or are you just so focused on that he ain't sweet talking you and talking all low, but then when you talk to him, you all masculine and your voice, you know, your infliction in your voice is high. Same thing with her. She telling y'all ladies and a lady come back and say, says you need to say it in a nicer way. I mean, couldn't get no nice than what the fuck she said. I mean, <laughs> how much nicer do you need somebody to say? Y'all fucked up, you're moving in the wrong way, and you need to stop. Guys can't tell you, but so I play it and let her tell you. And you still have to say the same thing. So it's a victim mindset. You don't want nobody to tell you about your faults, so you keep going on and on and on. Then the first thing y'all hear about generational curses shit, when you creating shit that keeps going on, you don't want nobody to tell you what to do. So that's going to tell your kids, Nick, don't nobody tell you what to do. You do what you want to do. Just seen her on another video, a little kid cursing her out. Might let my son do what the fuck he want to do. Don't nobody tell him what to do. That's what y'all doing now. And that's why we looking all fucked up right now. So I'm not going to hang on this too much longer. You guys saw it. You ladies, you saw it. So get what you can out of it. If not, well, move the fuck on. That's all I can say. But this been Carl Vibes, and we talked about it, and I'm out of here. Y'all take care. Be safe. Subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, hit that notification bell. Peace. <laughs>